Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan here, and welcome back to Overwatch. And oh boy, a big thank you to the Overwatch devs and the Seagull stream because Sigma's live on the PTR thanks to uh, basically they released him early by request. Uh, they gave gave Seagull stream the offer of letting him let go live early so they could play him against other players, and here we are. So Sigma, he is a main tank. He has a barrier. A 1500 HP barrier. Interesting. So not quite as uh, big a barrier as Reinhardt, but not quite as low HP as Arissa's barrier. But I think this hero will cause some problems for Reinhardt. Um, it's just early indications, right? I've literally looked at him for five minutes. So he has a primary fire, which are these balls, his little singularity balls, I'm assuming. They don't do a massive amount of damage got to be up fairly close for them to do damage like really impactful damage they have a range for example if i shoot from here they don't hit that guy because they're out of range uh it's a there's a fairly you know there's a reload time to it so it's not like you're outputting damage quite as fast as Arissa is so Arissa is still the king of or the queen i should say of damage output in my opinion in primary fire in primary fire, because old, uh, old Sigma can do this. Bye bye. <laughs> um, yes, it's uh, a, a big rock. He just generates this big rock. It's like he's pulling debris out of the floor, and he pelts it at someone. And it all—it's—it's it's a tiny bit of CC. That was a bit too close. He just got completely obliterated. It does quite a bit of damage if you're fairly close. But if you're fairly far away from the target and hopefully that target is not against a wall. It's a bit of CC, knocks him down, you see, it knocks him back, and it's done about what, I'd say he's got 55% of his health left, so it's an interesting one, it's an interesting one. Then this, this ability is truly weird and interesting, and I'm really pumped for this. This, if I hold this and then come out of it, you see his health goes up. So this is much like a, a, a a Zarya shield is the best way I, c I can describe it, right? So let me let me let me wait for the cooldown. Because these bots don't do a massive amount of damage, it's difficult to show. But you say 400 health. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Doesn't come up until you come out. 410 health. So this is going to be like. We'll sort, sort that out in a minute. Um, that's going to be an interesting one for big, big, big fights, right? So if a lot of incoming damage is coming in, you're just going to hold that down and you're going to say, come and damage me because you're going to give me more health. And I think it can go up to 800, I think Jeff said. So that's pretty pog. That's pretty pog. It, it, very much like Zarya. And if I could describe this hero in any way, it would be a mashup of Zarya and Doomfist. So, main tank, you say? That's because of this. This is his barrier. Obviously... It works in a different way compared to the other heroes. So, Reinhardt holds his barrier up, walks forward, slows him down when his barrier is up, right? Arissa, you place the barrier down, it's a projectile. This barrier is completely different. It will stay there forever until I press that button. Until you press your right, right mouse button. And then it will disappear. But it's not a cooldown. It's not on cooldown whatsoever. To project this barrier, if you push the button, it won't do anything. You have got to hold the button, at which point it's much like Symmetra's old barrier used to be. It will move until you let go of that button, and then it will stay there until either its health decreases and depletes, or you press that button again. Now you might think that's OP if you can completely redeploy it. Well, actually, if I deploy it here, it takes some damage. Get rid of it, redeploy it. You see it's still got the same amount of health. You, it's on a recharge, like much like Reinhardt's is. If I leave it down, it will recharge. So it's kind of a mashup between Arissa and Reinhardt. It's got a recharge like Reinhardt's barrier, but it's got a deployment nearer to Arissa's sort of barrier. It's not going to slow Sigma down when he's moving, and it's going to be incredibly useful because there's, there's, some, there's one thing that Arissa's barrier especially can do. Say you've got a fire ult. It's not coming after you because you're going to stop it. That, that is unique. That is awesome. I love that. So 
this is automatically, you know, and because it's so quickly redeployable, you can all of a sudden say, Farrell, that's not coming in. And then put it back to what it was. So the adaptability of this hero is really, really good. Now, I'm sure this is what we've all been waiting for, and I haven't tried this yet, so I'm on a learning curve with this as well. It's his ultimate. Now, if you wanted a, uh, a duo between Doomfist and Zarya, you got it. Wabooshk. And he smacks down and he dies. There is a bit of a bug with the bots, because they tend to die quicker with his ultimate than they should do. You see it's much like a cross between Doomfist's uh, ultimate and Zarya Grav. It is interesting. So what it does, it boots, well, let's say it boots. It lifts everyone up into the air for a certain amount of time. Obviously, it like alters the gravity, right? So this enables Sigma to actually fly. I need to charge it up again so I can show you guys again. But um, it actually allows Sigma to fly. He can adjust his height and everything with this. And now is the only way he can get to high ground without actually using stairs. Um, he hasn't got any significant movement abilities. So it boosts him up in the air. That makes him incredibly vulnerable to, say, a Widowmaker or something like that, a McCree or anything, basically, with Hitscan. And if I could aim this weapon, it'd be fantastic. I've got a lot of uh, a lot of practice to do, um, but you can boop him up, and then when you when it slams down, I think it does uh, damage up to half he half of their health. I am not totally sure on that. I haven't looked at the patch notes because I literally jumped on the PTR, but I was watching the Seagull Jeff stream, and I think they said it does 50% health damage. So that's interesting. But if I go up, you see you can alter its height. And all sorts, you've got a cooldown, bam. That's not a brilliant use of the ultimate because it does do damage, but it's not booping up, up in the air. Do not use this ultimate indoors. Because that that's not brilliant. Also, he floats and wears no shoes. He is Zenyatta, but a tank version. <laughs> He's even got the two orbs. It's like a Zenyatta tank. It's amazing. But I think this hero is meta changing by early indications i think he is going to be extremely powerful in certain situations and jeff has said that there might be a few tweaks to this i'm not sure about not having a cooldown on this barrier i'm not sure about that and i'm a tank main saying that um i'm not sure whether it might need like a one two second cooldown at first to see what happens an automatic redeploy or straight redeploy. I'm not sure about that. Again, it doesn't make him all that different to Reinhardt, so maybe they will stick with it. We'll have to see how it works. But these balls also bounce. A certain amount, they will bounce. So you can do some trick shots with these. I'm not going to be particularly good at it, but like that, you can bounce them, and they all hit. So it's 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 it definitely different. It's Interesting. This has really got me interested in what this hero can offer because his kit is like an amalgamation of certain heroes and it's made him very unique. See, so he boots him up, keeps him down, and then the smash down doesn't always work with the bots, but when you use it in game, you'll see it more, uh, more easy and see how it works. It's not going to insta kill everyone, don't get worried about that. But what it might do, and this is what I think will make it quite powerful, is the fact that it makes people so goddamn vulnerable when they're up in the air. I think that is the main, main thing with that ultimate, less than the smashdown is. So that's a really interesting one. This barrier, I really like the way this barrier works. I really, really like the way this barrier works. I just don't know whether it might need a cooldown. Again, he's actually quite vulnerable, unless he's got this if he hasn't got his barrier up. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see the way this one works out. I'm, I mean, this is worth the hype. This is, this hero is incredible. Like, he's definitely the, the spice to the main tank lineup that we've been looking for. That's for sure.
Um, what would he pair with is my actual question right now. This is the most vulnerable point of the ultimate, by the way. When they're up in the air. But um, I'm interested to see what off tank he would be pair paired with. I'm... I don't think it'd be Zarya. I don't think it'd be Zarya. And um, maybe a Roadhog. But I think it's more likely this falls into D.Va's forte. I think this is just a, a tank you can pair with D.Va. And when you think about it, you know... I'm not going to compare him to Winston, because Winston is uh, a different type of main tank. And because Sigma has not got a massive amount of movement ability, he's not a dive tank. He's absolutely not a dive tank. So... We're still stuck with the one dive tank that is Winston, and I didn't expect a dive tank anyway because, you know, Blizzard mo moved towards getting rid of dive. Uh, but he's certainly not a dive tank. He's certainly in the mold of Arissa Reinhardt. So I just don't think he pairs well with Azaria because his, his kit, like, overlaps too much. So a Roadhog? I mean, a Roadhog could hook out of his ultimate pretty well. Say you want to hook that. That's pretty cool. But apart from that, I don't see the use of using Hog with him. So I think this firmly falls into the part of uh, a Sigma Diva uh, pairing in terms of tanks. But again, we don't know. We don't know. We'll have to see it work out. The PTR is now live. It has been reinstated with quick play. It's also got the arcade, which has got no limits in it. And uh, also, the custom games are now available as well, and the Roll Queue beta is still available. I don't know whether Sigma is available in the Roll Queue beta. That will have to be checked out. But this is Hero 31. Sigma. He's got some CC, but I'm not actually totally, you know, against it, because it's not too bad of a CC, in my opinion. Um, his ultimate looks on paper right now very good his primary fire is neither here nor there this barrier i think is incredibly useful and this i think is going to be incredibly useful as well so we have got a few things to look at over the next few weeks see how sigma plays out i think he's early indications looking very good but I am going to leave it here. So this is Hero 31. We finally got him. And I tell you what, I'm going to be playing him like hell. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.